A few books from the Black Letter Press arrived in the post today and they are so nice. Um, I ordered the Red Dragon and On Magic and the Occult by William Butler Yeats uh, and they very kindly sent me the Black Pullet uh, as, a, as a gift. Thank you so much guys, that was such a, such a kind gift. Um, I will be reviewing uh, those two other books shortly for right now I just wanted to show you this edition of The Red Dragon. Now this is a second printing. Uh, the first printing ran out, uh, the first printing in English at least ran out and this is a second unlimited print which is in um, uh, they, they're calling it gel text cover so as opposed to the um, the, the fabric cover uh, on the first editions this is yeah, this is Geltex, and actually, it's it's very nice, and um, it it as you can see, it fits very nicely with with the rest of uh, the collection. Uh, it certainly on the shelf, it looks like it belongs. It's the same size, maybe a few millimeters shorter. I guess it's due to the um, to the thickness of the boards, which doesn't need to be quite so thick with this Geltex, and so um, so yeah, and they're all standing exactly straight. You can see it's just a couple of millimeters short, but uh, actually uh, to the naked eye on the shelf, it makes no difference whatsoever. Uh, so if you're worried that it might look strange, that you missed out on the first printing, um, don't don't hesitate. It's actually um, it's actually very nice. Uh, so first of all, what is the the Red Dragon? The Red Dragon is one of the Bibliothèque Bleu grimoires that were being sold door to door in um, 18th century France, I guess it started, oh gosh, I think it's 15th century, the very first Bibliothèque Blue books. This one, I, I believe, is 18th century. And uh, they were, yeah, I mean, they were, they were difficult times in France, right? Uh, this was rural France. Um, and yeah, people would do pretty much anything to, um, uh, to survive and that was necess sometimes necessary and so this is how to make a make a make a pact with lucifer uh, that is not selling your soul necessarily or at all uh, but rather you do this for me or else in this book you're 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 taught how to make this blasting rod with uh, with some magnetized caps um, that that will get spirits to do whatever you ask them to do, um, but just like all the Solomonic grimoires that I know of, at least my my knowledge is limited. But um, all of the Solomonic grimoires that I know of start off with an appeal to God. Well, this particular one, for example, starts with a quarter of a moon where every single day um, uh, and several times a day, one is to pray to God. It's exactly the same thing as the Abramelin. Uh, it's exactly the same thing as the books of, uh, of the Lemegaton um, and so on and so forth. Uh, they all start off with a, a giving of oneself to God uh, and then once uh, once one's soul is is secured, I suppose. I mean, I, I guess that's the intention here. Uh, then one is um, uh, given the means to command um, uh, chthonic and uh, and and hellish spirits. Uh, it's 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 a very very interesting read. It's um it it's it's uh, uh, definitely a, a a product of its time. Let me show you the. The font, it's, uh, it's really nice. It looks like it's been typeset. It could very well be uh, letterpress. Um, in fact, the, the, the company itself is called Black, Black Letterpress, isn't it? Um, uh, and um, it reads very nicely. The, the font is nice and, and, uh, and large. Um, and what else can I tell you? The, the, this introduction by Paul Summers Young is so funny. Um, uh, let, let me just just read this first paragraph for you. This is a work of wickedness by wicked people for other wicked people. Reputedly, just possessing a copy makes you a wicked person. You didn't have to actually read the thing. Just opening was enough to mark you as an enemy of God and reason in a France where both mattered a great deal. 
with me so far, congratulations, you're now wicked too. Uh, so if um, that kind of humour makes you uh, shy away, this probably is not the kind of book for you. It, it, it really is quite demonic. Um, uh, one is uh, to call on Lucifer first and then uh, Lucifuge, who is uh, one of the uh, a, a king or a baron with, uh, oh, here we go, Lucifer as the emperor and then Lu Lucifuge, uh, prime minister, there we go. Uh, so yeah, all kinds of, uh, of, of, of demons. Um, and uh, yeah, and the, the, the process is very interesting. I, I won't go through it all, um, uh, but there are, there are various... Um, effects that one can ask for uh, of which one was uh, to, to make people dance nude uh, uh, which is described as a prank <laughs> uh, but uh, but most of mostly it's uh, to uh, to find uh, treasures and uh, um, and and that kind of stuff it's, it was just that that particular one that made me that made me laugh a little bit so there we go that's the Red Dragon, or uh, also known as uh, the Grand Grimoire, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Great Grimoire. Have a quick look at, at this cover, which has the, um, the particular Sol Solomonic circle of this grimoire. And then this is the signature of Lucifuge Wofrakal, which is supposedly given to Solomon so that uh, he has uh, Lucifuge's uh, assurance that he'll do whatever he asks for and anyone who uh, owns the book thereafter will be able to uh, command Lucifuge in, in the same way. So yeah, whether that's for you or not, uh, <laughs> um, uh, if, from, a, from a historical point of view, it's, it's fascinating to, um, to get a view into the, to the mindset of the time. Uh, so there we go. I hope that was a, a useful look for you at this very, very nice edition. Um, it's a, as you can see, it's a very small book. It's um, yeah, it's about, it's about as big as my hand. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but it's uh, it feels it feels very personal. It feels uh, it's, a, it's a very um, very in enjoyable experience uh, reading it, uh, and it feels solid and. Uh, and, and yeah, great. So there we go, the Red Dragon or Le Grand Grimoire. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already and see you soon. Bye.